Hello everyone, and I welcome all of you to online study for you a complete placement solution. Friends, our today's video is very very important. I will be solving five aptitude question just in 2.5 minutes. That means with the help of shortcut methods and basic approach, one question I will solve in 30 seconds. I will request you to please solve the question before you watch the video so that you will be knowing that how much time it is taking. So you also note down the time. And all these five questions has been asked in the placement examination. So question number one is from time and work. Then we have from number system, again number system, percentage, and then again from number system. Okay. So let me start solving here. But you please note down the time. Okay. Before you watch the video, and then you understand what I have done. So what is the basic method or basic approach I have used here? Okay. Now, so 24 men and 12 women can do a piece of work in 30 days. In how many days can 12 men and 24 women do the same piece of work? That means we need to know the efficiency of men and women. But we have only one equations and we have two unknown we cannot solve. For getting, for finding out two unknowns, we should have two equations at least. So my answer will be data is inadequate to draw any conclusion. Question number two. So if 15 into 14 into 13 into 3 into 2 into 1, is equal to 3 to the power m into n. So where m and n are positive integers, what is the maximum value of m? So basically we have to find out 3 to the power something. So we have 1, 3 here, so 3 into 5. And then here we will be having 12, so 3 into 4. And then we will be having 9, 3 into 3. And then we will be having 6, so 3 into 2. And 1, 3 is here. How many 3 we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That means 3 to the power 6. So the value of m will become what? 6. Option B will become the correct answer for the question number two. What is the number of numbers of the form 0.xy where x and y are distinct non-zero digit? So x and y, they have given two conditions. So x and y are non-zero digit, okay? And this would be distinct. So how many numbers we have? One to nine. So I have removed zero. So nine digits, okay? Now, so first place we have nine twice. I'm using P and C. And second place, we will be having only eight twice. Why? Because if you're putting five here, here we cannot do because they are distinct. So 72. Option A will be the correct answer. Then this is a percentage question. The increase in the price of a certain item was 25%. So it is an increment of 25% means 125. And then the price was decreased by 20%. So decrement 20%. So 125, 20% will be 25. It will become 100. And then again, it is increased by 10%. So 10% of 100 will be 10. That means 110. So what is the overall profit? So overall profit will be 10%. Option B will become the correct answer. Then what is the smallest number greater than 1000? That when divided by any one of the numbers, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18. So all this number has a common factor 3. Okay. Now, so if these numbers are divisible by 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18, it should be also divisible by 3. And divisibility rule of 3, sum of numbers should be divisible by 3. Now, so they are also leaving a remainder of 3. So just subtract 3 from here. So 1060, and then 1070, and then 1080, and then 1180. Now you see, so this particular uh, number, right? So their sum will be 9, it will be divisible by 3. So option C becomes the correct answer now. So what you need to understand here is so either I have used the tricks or I have used the basic concept. OK, now many of you might not be able to understand uh, the approach which I have used here. But trust me, only the basic approach or some kind of techniques like here. So some of the numbers should be divisible by three or, uh, you know, so these things I have used here. So if you want to do the question very fast in the examination, then the first thing what you have to do is you need to understand how can I take 100 here because options are given in terms of percentage. So I have directly considered here 100. Okay, now, so you should be fast at calculation, right? So you should be fast at calculation uh, and you should be very good at basics. That is what I wanted to say. Nothing else is required. This five question, if you would have solved, you please comment below how much time you had taken. And I wanted to bring this kind of series. And if you want me to give a complete explanatory video for this, please comment. Then I will be making one, uh, you know, complete video like on each and every questions I will explain there. So what is the concept? What is the basic things I have used? Each and everything I will explain in the detail because when you see the question, it should click to your mind that what has been told in the question and how it can be done easily. So I'll be waiting for your comment. If you put in the comment that, sir, we need the explanatory methods, I will do that also. I'll, I will explain everything. And after you watch that video, you will be also quick uh, in solving all these questions. Okay. And one more thing which I wanted to tell you. So if you have still not subscribed to our channel, then uh, please do subscribe because we are putting a lot of content. We are 
putting a lot of effort here, right? So either it is in courses, uh, SPDSP examination or any kind of, uh, you know, the off-campus drives, each and everything we are doing. So the link has been given in description. Do not forget to subscribe and let us uh, meet you in the next uh, video. Thank you. Take care.